Hi, good morning, Hazel and Dan. Yes, yeah, so yesterday at the rally, there were thousands of people. This was really a vigil and really a prayer for all of the lives that have been lost uh, in the Middle East, in Israel, since this brutal attack by Hamas on the weekend. And many of the people here said they wanted to send a strong, strong message to those in Israel that they are not alone and that New Yorkers are standing in support with them and in solidarity. Now, the rally and vigil was attended by everyday New Yorkers, as well as top politicians like Governor Kathy Hochul, uh, Attorney General, New York Attorney General Letitia James, as well as Mayor Eric Adams. The message was to stay strong and united in the wake of, attack, of the attack by Hamas on Israel this weekend. Many have family or friends trapped in the war zone. New Yorkers will never tolerate evil, whether it's committed here in our homeland or in Israel. We will never, ever tolerate evil. We will not be all right until every person responsible for this act is held accountable. My parents are in Tel Aviv right now. They're trying to get a flight to Barcelona. The previous flight was canceled. But they have been in and out of bomb shelters. Um, we've been waiting by the phone, you know, unsure of, of what's happening. I have friends that are fighting on the front lines. So you heard there that there are many flights in and out of Israel that have been canceled, commercial flights. And right now there is a group of lawmakers, about 46 of them, 146 I should say, that have written a letter to Congre uh, from Congress, that have written a letter to the State Department. They, that letter is led by Representative Nicole Maliotakis and Representative Grace Meng. They are calling on the uh, State Department to step in and immediately send uh, their mili military aircrafts or charter flights to get some of those New Yorkers or all of the New Yorkers that are trapped in Israel right now out. We just spoke to Representative Nicole Malitakis. Here's more of what she had to say. We've asked for two things. One, if they can help get more commercial aircrafts uh, out of uh, Israel. So many of those flights are being delayed. And we've spoken with the airlines, too. Uh, they obviously have some liability concerns, but the administration can actually charter those planes. Uh, Germany's actually doing that. And so we're asking for the same thing here. The second thing is we would like to see um, military planes help evacuate American citizens. So later today, we're also going to be hearing from Senator Kirsten Gillibrand. She's going to be hosting a press conference where she is going to be calling on full military support from the U.S. government to Israel. So obviously, this is a developing story. You guys, a lot of lawmakers in our area now speaking out. That is the latest from the east side. Kieran Dillon, PIX11 News.